Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can set security on a unique row within a SharePoint list. Uh, this is a pretty cool feature, a really nice uh, feature that I love in, that is available in SharePoint. And essentially it allows you to set unique security on a row within a list. For example, uh, hide a particular row in a list from others. All right, here that would be uh, one of the use cases, I guess. All right, uh, we can do it just like we can hide and set unique security on files and folders within the library. Same thing, pretty much same functionality is available on a SharePoint list. So let me show you how that works. So here is my custom list that has to be, uh, it happens to be a list of projects, all right? And just to show you, essentially it resides uh, on my site, here's the site where it resides, it happens to be a home site, all right? And then if I navigate to uh, site contents, here is my list, here is my project list, all right? Just to kind of show you the architecture first. And uh, let me show you who has access to this list at the moment. So uh, the list inherits permissions from the site. So if I navigate to site permissions, just to show you, uh, so at the moment, I'm the owner, we have John and Mary who are the site members and everyone gets to have read-only access. So here's the situation, let's do this. I want maybe this middle row uh, of the list to be hidden from Mary, all right? We want it hidden from Mary, let's make it happen. All right, so let me show you how to do that. So what you need to do is you click the row on a list that you want to hide or maybe uh, set alternate security for, all right? And then click the little eye in a circle over here, manage access. So the steps are actually uh, pretty much identical uh, to the way you would be setting up a unique security on a file or folder within SharePoint document library. And of course, it shows me here who has access to this particular item, all right? This is security for this particular row. Uh, essentially, it's inherited from the site. So obviously, um, um, site owners have full access. You cannot even alter that. And here we have visitors, site visitors having view access and um, site members having edit access. Um, so remember, I have John and Mary in this group over here. So we need to remove um, that group, all right? Perfect. I also need to remove visitors because uh, because that's where everyone group was. Uh, because Mary is still part of this group, she will still have access to this row. Perfect. So the way it's done right now, as you can see, the only people who have access to uh, this row uh, or can see it uh, are pretty much site owners. In this case, it's just me. All right. So we just pretty much removed. Mary, but we also removed John and everyone else. But now we just want John, you know, to be able to see, all right? Maybe John is part of management. You know, John needs to see the particular row in a list of this particular row. So um, let's add John back. Here we go. And we add John back. Here we go. And we can even specify uh, the permission level for this particular row. John can edit or view that row, all right? Um, let's leave it alone like this, perfect. Awesome, and it's not obvious, we actually added John. I know you cannot see John here. Uh, we kind of have to refresh the screen uh, to, to see that. So let me do just that. Again, manage access and look at this. Essentially, we now have unique security on this particular row. I still have access, you know, being the site owner, we cannot even alter that. And we added John back, all right? So let's go ahead and check it out. Um, so obviously I'm logged in here as myself. Uh, that's why I get to see everything. Uh, but let's navigate to Mary's screen. Here is Mary logged in. And it, when I refresh my screen, this row should, should disappear, all right? Because we pretty much set unique security on that. Let's uh, see if that's the case. Here we go, look at this. It's hidden now, it's hidden. That particular row is hidden now. Uh, and because we, uh, that's how we set up uh, its security. All right, uh, so a pretty cool feature. Um, uh, again, uh, this is uh, uh, a major advantage of a SharePoint list over Excel, right? 
uh, in Excel, you can't really do that. Uh, but in SharePoint, you can actually set security, uh, not just on a site at the site level or list level, but even at individual row, uh, at individual row uh, within a list. And the use case I showed you where I hid the row, but you can also apply the same technique if you want, maybe want to, um, you know, prevent certain users from modifying certain rows, right? Uh, and essentially just giving them view access. All right, uh, that's, uh, let me show you quickly how to do that. So for example, if I wanted John or Mary, right, to just have view access of this row so that they cannot mess around with it or change it, right, uh, you can pretty much alter it over here. So uh, pretty unique feature uh, in my opinion. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned a new trick today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.